for college students, intramurals are a great way to exercise and de-stress. But for the faculty teams who play, they're a great way to do all that and beat teams half their age. BYU Weekly reporter Jessica Rasmussen follows a team that doesn't let the gray hair stop it from competing with the younger crowd. It's a Wednesday night at the RB, which means it's Intramural Central. But take a closer look at the team playing. Those players are not college age. We've got a group of faculty members that like playing basketball. Bob Walls in communications is our coach. He's the one that organized all this. Got a group of us together and suggested we come play intramurals with the young kids and see if we could still run up and down the floor. And we don't do that very well, but it's a lot of fun. We get out and have a good time. If you think these professors let a few gray hairs or a few bad joints affect their game, you may want to reconsider. It's kind of funny because it starts out that they just think it's a joke. You know, and they think, oh, we're playing against a bunch of old men and stuff like that. And so if they're winning, then it stays a joke. But then when they get behind, suddenly it, it, you can see this fear that comes into their eyes. We might lose to our dads. And our dads isn't just a reference to their job at home. It's actually their team name. That's the greatest part about it, because when people come to see who they're playing, they're playing our dads. You know, it is kind of fun when people come and they, they uh, sit down. Well, who'd you play tonight? Our dads. Well, who beat you? Our dads. <laughs> so it makes pretty good. But there'll be two of us uh, next year that'll have uh, grandchildren, so maybe we'll change it to our grandparents. These professors will tell you that many benefits come with getting older, one of them being a certain joy that comes from beating guys half their age at a game of basketball. I can see when they lose that it hurts them. And I have to say that that makes me feel good inside, you know, because we're playing against guys who are 30 years younger than us, and, and they've got way more athleticism than we do, but. You know, when we beat them, I know that it, they feel dejected because they, they lost to the old guys. Any good basketball player will tell you that you have to start with the basics, like passing and dribbling. And of course, it doesn't hurt to work on your three. I've been practicing the three-point shot since before they had a three-point shot, you know. And so uh, the thing they have on us is athleticism, but I think the thing we have on them is we've got more skill. One thing is for sure, that skill paid off again and again and again. So much so that they beat this team and a lot more like them this year. I think we're 6-2 and two this year. 6-2 and two this year, so we're doing really well this year. So well that they could play against, I don't know, Jimmer? You know, it would be fun to play against him. You know, if he ever wants to play, Jimmer, if you ever want to come play us, we're, you know, we're, we're open, we're available. But, you know, he would just kill us. You'd have to pay us, you know, but we'd play him. Maybe they won't be playing any superstars in the future, but will they even play at all? I mean, they are as old as my dad. I think in your 50s, you're still in pretty good shape, and when you hit 60, it really starts to slow down, but you don't know, you know? A couple artificial hips and knees, and I could be right back in it. If you want to follow the team in their tournament, search for our dads on intramurals.byu.edu. Jessica Rasmussen, BYU Weekly.